Hi my loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your continued love and support. I really appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. So this is a timeless collective reading for all signs. Whenever you hear the message is when you are meant to receive it. Keep in mind the energy is fluid. That being said, this could be related to anything in your life, career, finances, love, friendships, relationships. Um, it could be a past situation, past life, current event, or it could be a future prediction. Also, signs and gender do not really matter, although they are mentioned throughout the reading. Please be discerning. Only take the messages that resonate with you. So you guys, I just uploaded a reading that I channeled on yesterday and it was seriously like one of the most profound readings that I've done in a long time. It literally was confirmation of like a prophecy um, and several predictions that I had last year. Um, so I used this deck for the first time since last year. And so I just want to see what's going to come out now. But many of you are twin flames, your indigos, your earth angels, your star seeds. Um, you know, you're, you're chosen and some of you, you had some type of, you know, a part of your soul contract was you, of course, to take down these huge, huge, you know, dark spirits, demons, entities, whatever there's, you know, um, when you think about the kingdom of darkness, just like in heaven, there's a hierarchy and, you know, so you probably have been fighting against various spirits or principalities, entities, and different things, you know, secret societies or whatever the case may be. There is an energy and it's so funny how the last few weeks it's been storming so much. It's been like storm, sunshine, storm, sunshine. And it's kind of the way I feel right now, but I feel like something is really over. I've been getting the energy of death for um for quite some time now, but this is like death as in it's for sure like transformation. Now, I will say for some of you, there could the person who has been attacking you in the background for so long, that person is um some type of dark force or entity or whatever perhaps even from a past life this this person it's like a blood sucking this demon like this thing it wanted you bad this group secret society cult coven or whatever if it's not you it's your person lately i've been picking up a lot of energy when it comes to like divine connections soulmates counterparts not not all of them are romantic but i have noticed that the divine feminine or and masculine collective of those people who are divine, who are chosen, they both are um, fighting battles. But by fighting these battles individually, it'll bring um, certain people together to have partnerships. Like I said, whether it's romantic or business or, or both. Um, I feel like divine masculine and divine feminine both have had to have a, a, a period of like a, a dark night, another dark night of the soul that is leading you into this major spiritual upgrade, like this ascension process. But you've, in order to have gotten here, you had to literally defeat, like I said, some type of huge um, demon or entity or whatever the case is. But you literally have broken something completely off of like your bloodline. And I have so many readings about like the high priestess and the emperor, the hierophant and the high priestess coming together and the way it unfolded in the reading yesterday really just blew my mind. So I just wanted to tap in this today and see what else comes out, but it looks like something has finally been truly cleared. Wow. Sovereignty. See? <laughs> wow. And acceptance. And I talked about this a lot. Something here is ending and it's time for someone to accept it. It's time for your enemies to accept defeat, but it's also time for you to accept this role. Wow. And this is the number one. So you're definitely going into a brand new beginning. Some of you, you could be a life path. Number one, um, the natural born leader, the unexpected is here. Some of you, I feel like too, you are going to have some type of partnership or a connection, um, this could even be a, a connection with like a spirit guide, an ascended master, an angel, 
that's going to come in unexpectedly and give you an, an opportunity to kind of lean on them for guidance. Some of you, you are indeed like spirit guides here in the flesh right now. You could be guiding um, someone, but you have here number two, the so you have number one and number two out here now. Like I said, it's there's a pair, I feel. Um, the new moon and beginnings. Now we do have a new moon. Um, we just had a new moon in the Gemini new moon, which was the, also the beginning of Saturn retrograde. That was June 17th. Now for the, the sake of discussion today is June 25th, but there will be, uh, we did just have cancer season to begin a few days ago, but there's a new moon. The cancer new moon will be July 17th. And um, if you have a chance, you can check out the reading that I posted yesterday. I think it's titled, I mean, I just posted it today actually, but I channeled it yesterday. It's like you've, um, fulfilled a prophecy. You can find that, but there's something significant about these new moons. So with Gemini obviously is, you know, you seeing two sides of a situation and now we're in cancer season, cancer season. This is all about the home, um, secrets, intuition, illusions. I feel like you're going to see the truth about what was on the other side of something that has been affecting perhaps your entire life. Okay. It's also time for you to show a side of yourself that has been hidden. Self-love is here. Yeah. It's time for you to really embrace your true authenticity and this path. And then you have realization here at the bottom of the deck is um, fruition. So something is coming into fruition, something that you've had a strong hunger or desire for. Um, and I feel like right now, what I mean, it's like the, the world is hungry for something that you have to offer that you've been hiding for a very long time. OK, so. It's like you you've been guiding yourself and, and being guided by the most high, of course. But you it's like you've been guiding someone else. And now there is help. Some of you, you're you're about to receive another like spirit guy. Someone else is about to start helping you on your journey. For some of you, it is. um, It's just another it's another person, which obviously is like another spirit. Right. But um. For some of you, you know, this this person, it, it could be an actual angel. It could be an ancestor, a guy. Some of you, you literally, you or a person you're connected with is like a spirit guy, but in human form. Um, and I've, I've had I've had so many readings about that the last few months. Some of you, you really are earth angels or you really are like. You're already you're an ancestor. You are a spirit guy or you've recently gone through something that has. um allowed you to earn this like your 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 stripes so in the spirit the way that you are seeing now is like a, a very high ranking um spirit guide and so what you are supposed to be doing here in the world in the earthly realm right now is very important so the very first card that came out is um sovereignty so with sovereignty you know, to me, this and you see this lady here with the this white. On, it's like this very feminine energy where you have now all of this grace and you can be very confident in who you are in your ability to create like a new path, a brand new beginning here. OK, and you had to get to this place by practicing a lot of self-love It's something here about unity. Um, you being able to bring people together also with this sovereignty card here. Um, you know, I, I've said this before. Because of this new path that you are creating, you're like this pioneer, this trailblazer with this sovereignty. It's like even if it was a hex, a curse or anything in your family or in a group or, or whatever, it stopped with you. You know, people say it ran into the family until it ran into me. It's that type of energy here. Um, you're extremely powerful and I feel like it's now you're being called to really act as if to act as if you truly are this person of love and light and this sovereignty. 
it's time that you realize this because with this unexpected card, you can see how this person is like leaning over. You are indeed dependable and reliable when it comes to your friends, your family, the collective, whoever or, or whatever you are serving or protecting or providing for. You've been proven to be the real deal. I'm hearing the real McCoy like you. It's been proven your 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 faith, like your your sovereignty, you being so steadfast, you're extremely resilient. So when all of these crazy things are happening and I think that that's a part of it, too, because lately, like I've been constantly being led to like the book of Exodus in the Bible chapter 14, where, of course, we talk a lot about, you know, there's the scripture there about Moses and, you know, God parting the Red Sea and everything. It's like you you didn't take the short way home. You was willing to take the long way because you were being led by God. And it's like now that means that whatever is coming, because there, there there's a lot of changes coming. You have proven that you are indeed worthy of being a leader. OK, so with this unexpected card here, like I, I talked about this in the previous reading, some of you, if you don't see or hear, you know, spiritual, if your spiritual eyes and ears aren't open, they're going to start to open up more. So you may actually start seeing different beings or you may start hearing things. Some of you, you maybe you're a medium, you you know, your clear audience or um, your clairs are going to kick in more. So you're being asked not to be afraid because these are all things. It's like you're, um, how can I make reference? It's like you're, you're being given, um, jewels. There's jewels being added to your crown is the best way to put this. So, you know, maybe, you know, if, if you, um, you know, you have spiritual psychic gifts or just any kind of talents or abilities, it doesn't even have to be anything in spirituality. You now are about to gain something that's going to add much more value to you because you now are going to be in a position where you're going to be responsible for more people. It's like God is trusting you with leading and guiding more people. So maybe you're going to be teaching people more about self-love and, you know, how to have a new beginning realizing their own worth their you know how they should be faithful it, it's something here it, this is again a lot about light workers healers your, your time to shine is now because the void is here and this this is the dark moon so this is time now for you to recognize that you've gone through the darkness and there's no need for you to keep resisting whatever it is. Like, you know exactly what your pain points are. So in the darkness is where God is going to show up. When you are feeling extremely dark and confused and overwhelmed, this is where God shows up. If you know God and if God knows you. So you don't have to fear letting go of anything because something unexpected is going to come in here for you. A realization, it's it's a um an an idea, it's it's an offer, it's an opportunity, it's something big whatever it is. I'll tell you that much. Let's see what this is. Some, the void that you've had was in your lack of self-love, you know, feeling broken or, or damaged because you've been so different because of your path. But it was all part of your divine plan for you to go through these situations, perhaps a lot of these karmic situations where you struggle with having, you know, reciprocity and other things. And it has been due to perhaps like a, a lack of self-love, but now you've come into the realization of who you are. You know who you are. Four of swords. You may be feeling like a little bit tired right now because there is a need for you to rest. Um, 
you resting your diet, your sleep and everything else is extremely important right now because you are going through some type of spiritual upgrade. The high priestess is right behind the four of swords. Um, some of you are going to be receiving a lot of dream downloads, but I feel like you're, I have a reading about the two. It's like spiritual surgery. You're having, um, an upgrade like these your 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 angels the guys ancestors they are going to start communicating with you so much especially during your your time of healing and of rest to i feel like give you more wisdom give you more upgrade so that when certain situations come about you're prepared for it. what this is is your soul is awakening and it's evolving a lot of things um you may not even understand how you know it because your human mind can't comprehend, but your soul can remember things, right? But there was a blockage here. Wow, this is a lot of cards that came out. But we have the lovers, the six of pentacles, and the hermit. And here's the ten of wands. So the lovers here, Gemini energy, Virgo energy with the hermit card. Um, something could be significant between now the sixth month of this year, June through September. Um, I've been picking up a lot is going to be happening during um, August and October. So I feel like right now is a time of preparation. You have two sixes here with the lovers and the six of pentacles. For some of you, it is indeed time for you to assess and evaluate if you are giving like over giving in relationships. This could have been a part of the self-realization that you needed to go within about, okay, who, who are you giving to or receiving from? Is it equal give and take? Are you giving to certain situations, people, places, things that is causing a burden? Are you staying in situations simply because are you trauma bonding at this point because you're carrying some kind of emotional baggage? The spirit is saying it's time now for you to move on to peaceful common waters because you have the truth and the clarity now that you need or you're coming into some type of awareness about who you are, what you need and so forth. It may feel like you are not going to receive what you want, which is wish fulfillment, the four of wands, something to celebrate. For some of you, it's a union, but all is not lost here. Some of you, if you have already connected with someone, you could be experiencing like some a, a bit of... Um, trouble in paradise a little bit of, of turbulence because there was a need for someone to go back into the void i feel that if, if there is a partnership here at least one of the people needed to go into a dark night of the soul it almost feels like with this energy of guiding where you have guided someone into a dark night of the soul um and it could be a friend, a family member, or a lover, but it's like in order for for people to be on your path, on your journey with you, it seems like someone is like, well, I want to go, and you, it's like, well, okay, well, first, I need to, I need to cleanse you. I, you, I gotta burn everything off of you, because I'm literally seeing somebody with like a, a torch, like going, you're burning something off of of someone and yourself. It's giving me very much that temperance energy. And we did just have a full moon in Sagittarius not too long ago. But some it's like water and fire, your emotions and your actions. I've been talking about that a lot for the last month or so. But it's like you have to burn off all of this stuff here that is causing someone to carry this burnt this burden and this baggage in order for someone to six of swords you see this person traveling by water to make the decision swords the mind communicate with their own emotions on how to move forward this is you and maybe this is a part of your life purpose as well is to show people their the shadow aspect of themselves what they've been holding on to that is causing them to hold back and it's leading to missed opportunities with the five of cups. This is guilt. It's shame. It's regret. Someone now is about to have an, a major awakening with the ace of swords. Like I said, the divine is going to start communicating with you. And what do we have behind that? You have freaking the four of wands and the star and the moon. It's something here in, that's been lurking in the shadow, something that has been hidden, that has been keeping a person from their destiny. And for some, like I said, it's a partnership. It's a connection. This is for sure for some, some type of um, 
higher level of commitment for some of you and it is wish fulfillment but it seems like either you or your person needed to take some time out to heal someone i'm telling you there's like a forced dark night of the soul that had to happen here and because you was able to do this god is saying well you're you're sovereign i can trust you to go in and help someone, someone, either you, some of you, you met someone or you will meet someone and it's going to be very unexpected. It's going to lead to a new beginning because in this connection, whether it's a friend, family member, a lover, whether it's an old person or a new person, someone is going to be forced to go back to the void of when they did not understand self-love. There, there's a, a trigger that's happening here that's going to force someone who was stuck and stagnant at a crossroads two of swords to finally see the light someone is going to be forced now to see how they need to get closer to god how they need to you know grow and ascend and evolve awaken but also learning the truth about their own self-limiting beliefs someone's morals and values and and integrity and everything else is going to be questioned Either this is happening to you or someone else, or in this connection between these two people, you both are challenging one another and it's, it's ridding you of all things that no longer serve you. It's heavy, heavy twin flame like energy here for sure. The lovers, the knight of pentacles, something here is moving real slow and steady, but that's necessary because it. Uh, if you rush this, there won't actually be reciprocity. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. Look at that. The Empress and the Temperance. I told you. This is like an Earth Angel. And a Divine Feminine. Six of Pentacles. This, this situation requires patience, though. And the reason why is because, and the hermit being out here, for some of you, you don't know this person. If you know this person, there has been or will need to be a separate, all, all, most twins will indeed experience an actual separation. Even if you come into contact with that person, there will have to at some point be a need for a time out because of seven of pentacles here someone needs to be able this could be the masculine this person needs to be able to go within and really think about their plan or their strategy of how they're going to move forward the feminine energy here you could be in your head dealing with some kind of mental entrapment this is where again you go to the void and you allow yourself to love yourself enough to know even if you need to separate from anyone whether it be friend family lover or whomever twin flame soulmate you should be so secure in, in, in yourself and have this sovereignty that you don't have to worry because you know who you are. This is a major lesson on self-worth and value. There's no need for you to feel as though something is a missed opportunity because even if you miss one boat, there's always going to be another boat that comes in for you. Okay. The king of swords is out here with the seven of swords and the seven of pentacles. And here's the king of cups with the devil. And the magician for some of you you have you're you're cleansing out some kind of soul tie or something to this extremely emotionally manipulative narcissistic person that has been trying to live rent free in your mind this devilish like demonic person this is projecting a lot of doubt fear insecurity and other things onto you okay and this could be affecting new connections for you you're needing to completely just surrender right now some of you i can tell there's a lot of from what i'm saying there's a lot of confusion as to what exactly is the new beginning that you should be walking through because whatever it is is something very new you have a new bot like body like your um your system has upgraded I'm trying to decide if I want to share something right now. <laughs> I think I'm going to share. It. So I always say as above, so below, right? Um, for me, like everyone, we all get signs of different things. In my house lately, I've noticed as I've been talking about these different um 
attacks from entities and stuff like that. Everything in my house is new. But when I tell you, it's like every electronical electronic device in my house needs to be reset or whatever. And I'm just like, why is this? Like, you know, the air filter. I need an air filter for the refrigerator. And it's certainly not time for it. But I'm just like, okay. Um, my thermostat won't connect to the Wi-Fi. Um, you know, the front door, you know, it's just different things. So I, I called my security company and I'm like, you know, there's an issue with different things on my security panel, whatever. This is just, you know, metaphor, symbol, just follow me. And I'm just like, literally, I had three different appointments, you guys, and the technician did not show up. So I'm upset. But I can this this happened in, within the last seven to ten days, and I I remember taking time out to just say you know honestly apparently God just wants me offline in some type of way because like I said I look at a lot of things and it it'll give me a sign a symbol synchronicity about what's happening in spirit that's how I see things. So I'm looking at this void card and I'm just like, obviously, like maybe God is just a technician. It's something that God does not want in my house, but also he wants something to be offline. And the spiritual attacks have been like on another level. We know for the last few months, but we're getting to the end of it. But I looked at that like a lot of like me, many of you, you need to be offline. That's why the hermit is here, because you're enemies those who are known and unknown open and hidden they're using devices and everything else to track you to monitor you hack spy listen change the frequencies or whatever and it's interesting because my front door you know on my panel whatever the person that came to my house finally i ended up getting more security on my house he did a full check of my house and other things and I sat back and I thought about it I said sometimes you really just need to allow God to work however he you should always do that just surrender because everything that was offline is online and and my system was upgraded you see what I'm saying um my thermostat this this is the kicker. My thermostat wasn't connecting to the Wi-Fi. My thermostat was completely replaced. And it's a high-end thermostat. It was completely replaced. And it just showed me, like, you know, maybe if another um, technician had come, they, you know, may have left or told me to keep troubleshooting. This particular technician was like, forget it. I'll just give you another one. And it, not, it, was, a, it, was, a, it was an upgraded one. And I thought about that spiritually. Right now, a lot of people are kind of in the void. You're, you're confused. You don't know where to go. But there's an upgrade coming. Your protection is going to be upgraded. Not only is your protection going to be upgraded, whoever or whatever has been trying to attach to you is losing its connection. I hope, what, I hope you're, you're getting what I'm putting down here. But it requires you to take a moment to just surrender and say, whatever is happening is what's supposed to happen because God most likely is going to send in something much better than what you have hoped for. Unexpected being here. It's really funny how that, to me, that story makes perfect sense. And this could be with a job, a relationship, a friendship, or whatever. If you find yourself stuck and confused, just let it go. Just let it go. The hermit is here now. Like I said, the king of swords, the seven of swords, the seven of pentacles. For some of you, you have a person who the king of swords is can be someone who is um, very logical analytical, um, some would say trustworthy, um, fair, just this person is here with the seven of swords 
I feel for some of you, you have someone around you or coming towards you. They are strategically planning a way to rebuild something. And it may include you. A lot of the problems that you are facing right now, though, is because something from your past or something that's still around you is projecting a lot of negative energy, possibly even doing spell work or whatever to have you in this mental entrapment and to think believing that whatever it is that you know you want or that you need, that you deserve, you desire, you're not going to have it. That's how the enemy works. So again, going back to the lovers, for some of you, you have a choice between two different um, paths and, and each path comes with a different person or a different partner. And now you're being asked to say, okay, are you going to drop the burdens and really go on, like I always say, the path of the least resistance? Some of you have friends and family or even lovers around and you don't really trust these people. When they come into your house, that's the reason why your, your, your devices are off. Their energy is throwing everything off in your, your house. And your house is also the same as your, your dwelling, your, your body, your temple. Something is off and you need to see that and recognize it. Don't try to hold on to something that God is trying to burn off and purify you from. Ten of Wands. Look, the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the, the the victory, the rewards, the success, the union, the new house, the new whatever. It's here, but you are being forced to fight against this five of pentacles energy of thinking that it's not going to happen because of the burdens you've been carrying. I did a reading yesterday. I said there's trouble in paradise because someone is still very much connected to their past. You haven't fully taken accountability or been able to accept something that has happened. And if this is not you, this is someone that's around you. And it could even be someone who's meant to be around you that has not quite done this work. And that's where this sovereignty and this um, this confidence comes in and also leadership and being able to tell somebody, listen, you need to get get going. You, you're going to have to drop that thing from the past if you want to come around me. Because you can't come in here and throw my 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 connection off. And this is this is even in counterpart situations. You both at some point will fall short and it's your responsibility because you've agreed to that contract to tell the person, listen, you you not pulling your weight here. Five of swords. This could be a masculine who's very conflicted about a situation and this is causing some kind of upset fear or anxiety or stress for a feminine but see when you have the tempers here and and the empress you cannot afford right now to deal with stress fear anxiety and to be stuck because the truth is and now it makes sense why for some people energetically because maybe you haven't even met your person physically there needs to be some type of temporary disconnect because both of you are facing battles individually. This is where the going gets really tough because you, you can't just look at them and say, oh, I can help you because you really have to stand up and, and, and be able to help yourself right now. This is two people who are both facing warfare, most likely. Heavy, heavy, str like strongholds, huge, dark battles that are meant to teach you lessons. So it's like, you can only tell this person, listen, this is what you need to do, but judgment is here. You, you cannot stop for anybody to ascend. And for some of you who are holding on to situations that you, you feel as though it's a twin flame situation or whatever, it could be or it could be karmic. Nothing or nobody can stop you right now from ascending other than yourself. So if you allow yourself to stand behind and watch a person 
bring their drama or whatever into your life to the point that it becomes crippling and debilitating for you. You cannot blame anyone when it's all over said and done but yourself because there is indeed a gateway, a pathway, a portal that's being opened for those who are chosen to really elevate. But if you second guess it, if you stand still for too long, if you keep letting a person come in and, and mess up your channel, friend, family, lover, whoever, you will miss it. Your destiny is, is a still a destination. It's somewhere you want to go. If you, if you put the address into to the GPS and you take the too many of the wrong exits, your timing will be off. You will show up late. It's a lot of stuff that right now you cannot take with you and especially people. And the reason why this is here in the void is to show you the reason why you you've already been delayed. Perhaps it's because of a lack of self-love. You're coming back around to the end of a cycle and being shown how by loving yourself and possibly being selfish, how that's going to allow you to have some kind of unexpected breakthrough and blessing to come. I really hope y'all hear what I'm saying. It's the only way something is going to come into fruition. Five of Cups, Queen of Cups. Ace of Cups. And here is the Strength card. And the King of Wands. The Empress and the Temperance. Water, Fire. This planet is made up of mostly water. No, Empress in tarot is, is um, could be anybody, of course, but people always say it's um, Taurus and Libra energy. But the temperance represents fire and water. Th this right here is two people coming together to do something for the universe. You have a queen of cups here. You have fire, water, fire, strength. Yang energy, masculine energy, intuition, ace of cups. This is heightened intuition. There's a masculine out here who has to have the strength to push through and become a real trailblazer and pioneer. And there is a feminine energy out here who is most likely experiencing more heightened love, forgiveness, emotions, intuition, psychic abilities. But these gifts that these two people have will constantly, they will exchange, that you will exchange gifts with this person. But for some of you, it's not necessarily a person. It's just your feminine and masculine energy and it needs to be balanced. You have to have just as much sense to be logical, organized and driven as your masculine, your masculine energy and, and you still have to maintain your feminine energy of being able to receive and use your intuition. You can, a person who can balance both is unstoppable, unbreakable. The couples of people, the twin flame where there's the dynamic duo, the yin and yang energy, those couples are unstoppable. They're unbreakable because what this person cannot feel because they are forging ahead and in power mode the queen of cups can what the queen of cups does not have the strength sometimes to go and do because of what they are feeling this person can do wow the sun the fool and the death card it's an ending a new beginning and liberation is happiness, is joy, is contentment. There is conflict around the building of this empire. Also spell work, manipulation, and other things. But you have a masculine here who is working very hard to get out of this conflict. And there's also a feminine here who is doing work, I'm sure, to manifest this masculine. You're manifesting a counterpart by you being in your own feminine and masculine energy. Two people are manifesting one another, but there are a lot of forces here. You see somebody here is reaching for this flame, for that torch, for that upgrade, that new beginning. And spirit is saying something is going to come to an end. If you take a leap of faith, you will get it. 
But I'm also sensing too here for some people, depending on the situation, the masculine gets the torch by opening up to this free spirited feminine. Again, if you are not interested in a relationship, you have to give yourself the torch by tapping into a side of yourself that you're keeping hidden or it's just imbalanced. If you want to manifest like this, like this partnership that some people are going into, it will come by you balancing yourself, your own feminine and masculine energies. The Ace of Swords is here. That's the truth. The High Priestess. I'm not talking. I'm not telling you a lie. <laughs> You're getting the piece of the puzzle that you've been missing in order to have this breakthrough and experience this will of fortune. So again, whatever you know, whatever you need, you need to rest in knowing that you will receive it because if you notice like this queen of pentacles here, it's just like this stuff. You need to be grounded in having that faith and that confidence and knowing that you are powerful and very resilient. And that's where tower, the breakthrough comes. God shows you who he is and he brings you the ace of pentacles that leads to the ten of cups with this past life soulmate because this is your justice. Something here in cancer season is moving forward. An offer, an apology. The king of pentacles will match the queen of pentacles. This is a page offer possibly right now, meaning it's in its beginning stages, but it's destined to become the empress and temperance. It's destined to become the hierophant and the high priestess. If you know how to navigate which is navigating with faith, resilience, and understanding when to take time out and how to truly heal. This is where you really learn about, are, are you a healer? Are you truly a light worker? Like, do you, do you know what that truly entails? Do you know how much of the, the path and the journey that you don't see? <laughs> you know how many psychics cannot see their own future. Truth. You need to allow some type of truth to be revealed in order to have growth and abundance with this reunion of souls that is currently integrating. It's slow, but it's steady. Why? Because creativity is here. You have a completely clean slate. Creativity and teaching. You have sexual energy, feminine energy, perception. This is teaching people what it means to actually be feminine, both for men and women. What does it mean to truly receive? Do you really know how to receive joy and abundance? Which means, do you know how to actually find peace? Do you know how to actually be grounded and stable even in the midst of a bunch of chaos, conflict, illusion, confusion? Do you still know how to find God in the darkness? And can God actually find you? There's a lot of growth. The next year or so, I see 12, 13, and 14 out here. It's going to be a lot of growth. There's also 38 and 39 here. 7 and 3, which is 10, a completion. And then integration. So for some of you, this is your divine union within self but it's also the kingdom marriages or twin flames or whatever how do you want to give to it 
but your feminine and masculine energy within you is becoming integrated as one and it's going to allow you to connect with another being that shares the same soul. But really when the when you really think about twin flames, the reason why oftentimes there's one dark and light, not so much dark and light, but like like I said the water and the fire it's a feminine and a masculine. One is a giver while the other is a receiver. But they still all, they have a role, 44, 44 on the timer. You have to know your role and your position. Because truly in unions, if, if two people come together in these types of unions, the role of the feminine and masculine will constantly change between the two. Depending on the situation, but depending on the assignment that God has given you. That's the reason why um, gender doesn't matter. Sometimes the feminine is going to be acting as the masculine. Serendipity and, re and regeneration. Whatever has happened was supposed to, whatever has forced you to go into the void where for some of you, everything has, it seems like it has crumbled and fallen. It was so that there could be a regeneration of your soul. You needed to experience some kind of loss to learn something. Some of you right now, you're not losing, but because of this leadership role, you're seeing other people lose. And it's teaching you more about grace, humility, gratitude, Sometimes you learn by watching other people either do something you've never done or go through what you've already been, what you've already been through. Some, I'm telling you, somebody, this is being like a spirit guide, a, 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 an angel, an ancestor, spirit guide in human form. But what you have coming is a lot of happiness. What's today's date? Today is June 25th. Okay. Mending 52 will be 25, 52, 25. It's like looking in the mirror. Message in a bottle. Peace. Yeah. Some of you, there is peace coming with a masculine who wants to go the distance. There's going to be a change in the wind because this person is going to see the truth or you are going to see the truth about something within self. Some, I'm telling you, it's like a forced ascension is happening here for someone. Definitely a masculine. Somebody is going through possibly like a, a major ego death. Like a, a, I mean, a true metamorphosis, a rebirth. Where somebody is going to literally see their, like they're going to be able to look into their soul. Or especially the feminine energy here being this highly intuitive like energy that I'm picking. You're going to be able to look into the soul of something or someone. Like not something, but into someone. And that's going to change the energies like quickly. It's going to be like a change in the wind. And I'm assuming that I don't know if it's the prayer or your thoughts, your manifestations. It is going to trigger something in this masculine energy or you're going to be triggered um, by your ability to even do this. And it's going to put you in action mode. Look at that fire. Told you. Something here about fire. You could be dealing with a fire sign or you are a fire sign. This person is wearing a mask. I don't sense that it's a it's a it's a bad mask. I think that someone here is still in a distorted energy. There's a masculine energy who is distorted. This person wants to have a family. They want to be a provider, but this person has not yet fully healed. However, they want to be honest with you. They're passionate about you. You guys are going to be able to rip the mask off of someone and tell them, hey, you're a distorted feminine or you're a distorted masculine in this season. That's not a bad thing. But I think that you need to go back to the void and figure out a way for you to love yourself better. It says here, wait, trust in divine timing very soon. Coming for a heart to heart conversation extroverted a need to talk and then you have here mirroring look at them as if they are you and then reconciliation 
with quality time within a few months, you're forcing somebody to go through like an ego death. Somebody, this is for sure like two, if two people are connecting, your self-respect, your value, your um, the amount of sovereignty and self-love is going to show someone that what they perceived as being divine is based on some type of distorted perception. And I feel like because of who you are and what you've gone through, you're going to whip somebody into shape real quick without even trying. Physical love. You have here a temptation and karmic partner, past life ties and lessons. You're happy. Somebody here could be, um, this is the same thing from like your side. It, there's a karmic energy here, just like we saw here. Something here that's dark is still trying to latch on or stay connected to you or your person. This could even be the feminine. Wish fulfillment is here, but you have flow, surrender, and allow this self-growth to happen because redemption is coming. And the redemption is coming in the form of a cosmic gift and material blessings. However, there may have to be a separation. Somebody just needs to take some time to do this healing work for sure. Because it's an unclean spirit out here. There's an unhealthy soul tie, something toxic, whether it's with a friend, a family member, or a past lover that needs to be cleared out. I'm t somebody has to burn something off of them and purify and cleanse themselves from something that has either been within them all their life through bloodline or someone has picked up something or something has purposely been sent to a person to attach to them so that they will stay in the void. I feel like, again, there's a, a counterpart out here, either you or your person who can sense the void on someone and you are unexpectedly going to break something off of this person. It's a yoke here that needs to be broken. Someone has yoke themselves with something that was not they were not equal to and now in order for them to come to you they have to they, they got to sever ties they have to get out of some other type of contract that i feel somebody doesn't even know it exists somebody doesn't realize that they're still in some contract with a, a like a dark magician and they don't even recognize it but it's the reason why they're facing Rejection is the reason why they're stressed and, and all this other stuff. So it, this is where you, you get into the mode of being a leader and a guide and you pray or, or do whatever you need to do to cleanse yourself. And in some cases, for some of you, your person. And that's a very selfless type of love. Water. Yeah, because someone right now is being ruled by ego and they don't realize it. Because they've been connected to someone very manipulative or narcissistic who carries a very dark energy. But someone or, or you or someone you love one another or you love yourself, but you there's a, a tie to a narcissist. That you have to purge for this breakthrough. Okay, good stuff. Look, I didn't mean to pick up this card, but you have end of an era, emotions, forgiveness. So something here is over. You just have to forgive. You have to, whoever this dark person is or this narcissist, you're going to have to just forgive them and move forward. Gratitude. Yeah. Gratitude and ancestral wisdom. Life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. Don't worry about this dark energy. Cut the cord and move forward. Because once you cut the cord, you're going to be connected with more ancestral wisdom. We are, all, we are your ancestors and we love you. We walked the earth many years before you. We ask you at this poignant time to learn and grow from our past experiences. You are our legacy and we will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world. Like I said, 
you literally are paving the way. You guys, this was another deep reading. I really hope that it resonated, gave you a bit of clarity, insight. You should be very proud of yourself. Always go with and so that you never go without. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.